everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. My name is Stav and this is She Equips Herself. First off, I want to tell all of you guys who subscribe to my channel and those of you who don't, please go to my website and sign up for my email list. I'm collecting emails so that I can keep in touch with you guys and send out newsletters and keep you updated. So if you haven't done that already, the link is below for my website. So make sure you sign up for my email list. Also, if you like this video and you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you could stay up to date with all my videos. This video is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. In fact, I wrote the notes for it maybe like a year ago and I just found them. So today I'm gonna film a video on gun safety for people who don't like guns. This is not gonna be a political video. I'm not gonna tell you why you should like guns or why I disagree with you not liking guns. If you're against the second amendment and don't want people to know that you watch this video, they don't have to know. Just watch it in the privacy of your own home or your car or wherever. I won't tell anyone you watch this video. The reason why I think this is an important video to put out there is because I personally know a lot of people who don't like guns or don't want to own guns, have no interest in ever holding a gun, and that's your right. I like guns, maybe you don't, that's fine. The fact is that there are over 400 million guns in the United States where I live. So if you ever come across one, or there's a situation where there's a gun around, I want you to be able to be safe around it, even if you're not interested in shooting them. You need to be able to know how to safely handle them. And maybe you don't have interest in ever going to like a gun safety class. This is just gonna be a really quick, down and dirty, the basic rules of how to be safe with a firearm. I don't think that political views should stop you from educating yourself on how to be safe around a gun. So I have a training gun here. This is not a real gun. It's basically a blue piece of plastic that's in the shape of the gun that I carry every day. But this is just a training gun. There's no real trigger or any sort of mechanism that would allow it to fire. So I'm gonna use this to illustrate the main three safety rules when it comes to firearms. The first rule when it comes to firearm safety is always keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. Safe direction is going to change based on where you are. So in this room, I have a different safe direction than what you would have in the room that you're sitting in right now, or if you were at a gun range. Usually at a gun range, safe direction is downrange, so the way that you would be shooting your gun at your target, and there's usually some sort of material behind it that you can shoot at if you're at an indoor range or if you're at an outdoor range, there's a berm, which is like a big hill or a mound made of dirt. So that would be your safe direction at a range. So with safe direction, if you pretend that there's a laser beam coming out of the front of your gun and that laser hits wherever you're pointing that gun at, would that be considered an unsafe direction? Is there a person there? Is there a body part there, like your hand? Even doing this with a fake gun feels wrong to me because it's so ingrained in my brain. Is that laser being pointed in a safe direction or is it touching something that it shouldn't be touching? So always pretend that there's a laser coming out of your gun and be mindful of what it's pointed at. And that includes what's behind that thing because bullets can go through certain things. So you need to be mindful of what's behind your backstop or wherever you're pointing your gun. If you're in a home, some things you need to consider are if there's a wall right here, which there is, there's a bedroom behind this wall. So if I was pointing my gun this way and there's a bedroom there, if there's a chance that there are people in the room next to me, that's not a safe direction. There's a house across from me this way, that's not a safe direction. Another room that way, not a safe direction. So you need to know if your gun fired the way you were pointing it right now, could it injure a person or cause like serious damage to anything. So a couple things to consider here. What is behind your backstop? So if your backstop is a wall, is there something behind it in the next room that would make it an unsafe direction? Are there things above or below you? So is there a room in your house above you where you are or below you? If you're in an apartment building and you're on the top floor and you need to walk around with a firearm in your hand for some reason, maybe you're transporting it from one room to the other or something, maybe you can point it up because there's no one above you, but you can't point it down because there are people below you. So it's always important to know what your safe direction is based on where you are. The second rule is to keep your finger off the trigger at all times until you're ready to shoot. 
That means that if you're holding the gun, your finger's off the trigger. And usually the safest place for it to go is just right above the trigger. If you walk around like this, that is not safe. If I see you doing that, I'm gonna tell you to stop. I'm gonna call you out on it. This is where your finger is going to live until you're actually ready to shoot the gun. So even if you're at the range and you're standing there in front of your target, you don't put your finger on the trigger like this. You're not holding it like this. You're putting it on the side until you have your sights on your target and you're ready to shoot. Then you can move it to the trigger. And once you're done, it comes right back off. So this is where your trigger finger lives. And this can take some training because when we are kids and we play with Nerf guns and water guns, we usually learn like this. Your fingers are just always on the trigger. So if that's something that's trained into your muscle memory, Remind yourself, every time you're holding a gun, keep your finger off the trigger at all times. Put it right there. That way there's no way that that gun can go bang unless you put your finger on the trigger. You can practice this with your hose outside, with your Windex bottle. Don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. And the third rule is to always treat every gun as if it's loaded. And you might hear this stated in different ways. Some people say, always assume every gun is loaded, always keep guns unloaded until you're ready to use them, but I like to say that you should always treat every gun as if it's loaded. I have heard people say, don't worry, it's not loaded, and don't say that to me, because that's a very unsafe mentality to have. You need to always treat every gun as if it's loaded at all times. Even if you just emptied it, you cleared it, you know it's unloaded, that does not give you permission to wave it around and point it in an unsafe direction or to put your finger on the trigger when you're not shooting it. You need to assume and treat every gun as if it's loaded and that will keep you safe. Following these three basic rules, and there are more that go into other things, but following these three basic rules will help you to stay safe around firearms if you ever come across one or if someone ever hands you one for whatever reason and you don't know what to do with it. I do recommend taking a basic gun safety class even if you're never gonna be interested in owning a gun or shooting a gun or anything with guns. Take a basic safety class just to know more about them because I don't want there to be a fire in my house and I don't ever want to have to use a fire extinguisher but I should know how to use one in case there's ever a situation where I need to handle one. The more you know, the better off you'll be pretty much with anything. It's best to have more information than less. Another thing is don't be afraid to talk to your kids about gun safety, even if you don't like guns. Put the politics aside and put their safety first because if they ever come across a gun, they're gonna need to know how to handle that situation. And the ideal way for them to handle that is to leave it alone, don't touch it, and go tell an adult immediately. And if you're the adult that watched this video and now knows how to handle a gun safely, then you'll be able to deal with that. If you know someone who might benefit from this information, please share this video with them because I want to get the word out as far as I can to as many people as I can about how to be safe with a firearm. Because like I said, there are hundreds of millions of these things all around America and it's just, very important information to have if you ever come across one. If you want to learn more about gun safety, I recommend finding a class near you. Some places might even be doing online gun safety classes, so take a look in your area, do a quick Google search, and find something so that you can educate yourself and make you and your house and your family safer. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful and educational for you. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.